right. Good morning, everybody. Today is not only another terrific Tuesday, but it's also Tuesday, April the 18th, 2023. 18th? April 18th, everybody? I wish I could have had a prettier shirt for today, but just didn't didn't couldn't find the right the right shirt, but but everybody today is my forty second birthday. Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to me! <laughs> So I look forward to seeing all the well wishes today on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So fire away, everybody. Fire away. <laughs> <clears throat> Today's first video for your your Tuesday, April the 18th, and my birthday. We're going to be talking about episode 1047, part 1. And the next The Series video Number 155, with the, the conclusion of the matter, beginning with Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13, from John D. Morris. So if you're excited about this one, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like, because a like video the like helps the videos out, get to other people. And as of recording this video now, I still have 42 subscribers. So you have till midnight tonight to hit 50. So, at the recording this Sunday evening, I've still got 42, so hopefully the next IRL, the next two days, by midnight tonight, I'll have that 50. So, I don't want to be, I don't want to be, don't want to be, don't want to be sad about that, but it looks like I'm going to have to be sad, unless I get a, I get a surprise. So, but... Five Daily Devo, five Turning Point videos at four likes only, or all ten Ten Commandment videos at four likes only. And if the like challenge is not met by episode 1100, that's probably going to be in the first or second week of June, then it will be null and void and cancel it. And I don't want to cancel it, so don't make me cancel it. But help me get to 100. Like I said, I want to get to 50 by midnight tonight. So help me get there, please. But help me get to 100 by either May 27th, which will be my three years on YouTube. Um, episode 1095, which will be three years of videos. Or somewhat. That's when I figured it. Um, or August the 1st, which is probably end of summer for some people, depending on how well the schools, the kids in school, when they go back after summer, summer break. So, and sometimes they start the first, the first week of August on some, some schools. So by, by some standards, end of summer, first of August. So, but I would love to reach that 100 mark by the end of summer. So. Pretty earlier than that, if I can, but if not, let's do it by the end of summer. So, I'd appreciate it more than you'll ever imagine. So, let's go on. The conclusion of the matter. Number 155 of my Dove series. Ecclesiastes 12, 13 says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So the spiritual life of Solomon can be great danger, can be traced through his writings as recorded in the book, in God's word, the Bible. There are not, they are not straightforward history, but are rather in a poetic style that reveals his inner thoughts throughout his life. And at the beginning of his reign over Israel, he asked God for an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and, and bad, 
1 Kings 3 9. And he subsequently became renowned for his wisdom. Otherwise, 1 Kings 3.28 and 4.29. Unfortunately, as well as documented in scripture, his thirst for human wisdom led him into compromise and disobedience, setting the stage for national apostasy and idolatry upon his death. So the book of Ecclesiastes chronicles a series of experiments that he conducted in search for the highest human good. But each forced him to conclude that all is vanity. Ecclesiastes 1, 2, etc. That there is no hu humanly discernible pattern in the affairs of men. However, he concludes that life is the gift of God and should be enjoyed. 3.13 Furthermore, he recognized the eventual judgment of God and concluded it is the best to live in obedience to God's commands. Ecclesiastes 3, 16 and 17. So our beginning passage summarizes the entire book of Ecclesiastes. Here is the secret of human fulfillment. Note two complementary commands. Fear God, keep his commandments. So a true reverence for God necessarily results in obedience to his commands. Why Solomon knew it and Christ and the New Testament writers reinforced it. John 14, 15, 1 John 5, 2, etc. So life's harsh realities and seemingly par seeming paradoxes are at times inc incomprehensible to us. And only by adopting a proper attitude toward life and God can we cope. So, that's all I have for the conclusion of the matter. And also there is a passage, I don't, I think it's, I think it's either chapter 1 or chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes. I, it's the first, it's like verses 1 through I believe it's chapter 3. But it's like 1 through 11, I believe. Hang on just one second and let me let me look at that passage and find it and make it possible. So I'll be right back in just a quick flash. I'm back. Sorry about that quick flash. But yep, it is verse 3, 1 through 8. And it begins where it says, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. And in 2 through 8, it goes a time for this, a time for that, a time for this, a time. I love that passage. I don't know why, but I do. There's a time for this and a time for that. Time for love and a time for this. So it's like at verse 2, it says, A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted. You get it? The time for this and the time for that. A time to do this and a time to do that. So, <laughs> but I love that passage. If you ever have a chance, read chapter 3, verses 1 through 8, and see what you think of that passage. So, and hopefully you've got a New King James version because that's what that's what my version is. So, <laughs> so I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe and all you're saying. Doing 2023 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long, farewell. Come back later after one. We'll be talking about future faithfulness. Part 2 of episode 1047 from Karen Pimpo derived from Jeremiah 32, 37 through 44. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after one. But before I close out, I have your daily um dad joke. Remember yesterday I was doing dad jokes yesterday. So what I'm going to do, I'm doing once. I'm going to do two, er, there's seven on this page. 
what I'll do is do two today to tomorrow, and then the next day I'll do I'll finish the, I'll do the, the other three the next day. So, or until I hear if people want want one a a joke in every video, and I'll do one in every video. But for for now, it's gonna be once. See, I, yesterday I done it. I done four in the afternoon video, and then I've done two in the evening video. But today's dad jokes, and they come out of this book here. It's a it's a it's a word search puzzle. You have your dad jokes on one page, and then you got your grid on the other. So your jokes for today are: Did you hear about the crazy pancake? He just flipped. <laughs> hey, I like that one. Let's see, what's the other? Let's see, what's another good one? Oh, these are all about pancakes. These are all about pancakes, so it... I'm just going to do another another question. Another little question. What did the pancake learn in music class? What are pa How are pancakes done? He learned B flat. <laughs> Get it? He learned to B flat. <laughs> so that is your dad jokes for today. Come back tomorrow morning and we'll have some more. Which I'll be getting to those who just, <coughs> excuse me, and I've, been, I've been battling today on Sunday. I've been battling a bad, scratchy throat, making me cough. I'd spray some like sore throat, not. My throat's not sore, but I've been spraying some throat spray, and it calms my the scratchiness down, and it keeps me from coughing. But I've been having to I'm having to go spray it again. So, but um, what was that coming? Oh, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on a trust in God. And they'll keep you safe and all you're saying to 2023 and beyond. And, and until later, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long, farewell. Come back later. Did I already do that? Yeah, I did. Sorry about that. But sorry about that. But forgot. But until then, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. Sorry for repeating part of it. God bless America. God bless everyone. Or God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you later. <laughs> so until then, me and Baby Yoda, we out until then. So have a great rest of your um, Tuesday morning. And we'll see you after one. Or you'll see me after one. So. <laughs> or I won't see you because I'll probably be going and getting ready to do something for today. But. If I can get if I can get the plans up, IRL yesterday. If like I got the plans set up, then today I'll be doing my activity for this this afternoon. So look forward to doing it if I can. So, but I'll I'll let you know Thursday when I record the Thursday videos how today went, because that'll be the next time after this recording session that I'll be able to say anything. So, so. But but until but until then, goodbye.